Hey there, it's me Saurabh Bhatnagar from saurabhbhatnagar.com and in this video, we are going to discuss 11 growth hacks to 10x your day's productivity. By growth hacks, I mean effective management of time. I mean, we all are given same amount of time in a day, but how can we plan it effectively to get the maximum profit out of our time or to get the maximum work done in the limited time which we have. I am using these growth hacks since some time and I have seen some glorious results in my life and in my business. So in this video, I am going to share all the growth hacks which I am using in my life and I hope it will do the same wonders in your life. So the first growth hack is to maintain a to-do list. Whenever you wake up, make a list of all the tasks which you want to finish that day. This way, you will never miss or forget something really important and it will always remain in front of you, which means that you are always reminded to complete the task. Remember the rule, the ones you write down are the ones which gets completed for sure. So make sure that whenever you wake up, you make a to-do list. At maximum, your to-do list will include a, ma a maximum of 10 tasks, 12 tasks in a day. So, but if all the tasks are written right there in front of you, you will always be reminded of them that yes, these are the tasks which I have to complete today. And then make it a point that you will complete all the tasks in the day. Growth hack number two, three to five minutes management. From your to-do list, Figure out the ones which will take just 3 to 5 minutes of your time and then complete them immediately before doing any other activity to start your day. There will be hardly one or two such tasks every day. Remember the rule. 3 to 5 minute tasks are the ones for which we procrastinate the most and they are always kept pending. Finishing them early will mean you will complete approximately 10 to 40 percent tasks present in your to-do list for the day. Now this is something very effective because I have seen most of the people, they keep procrastinating for of the tasks which are very small. They think that, uh, yes, I will complete it later. Even I used to do the same. Yes, this is a very small task. I will complete it after I will finish the big task. No, because that way what happens, we always leave those tasks for next day because sometimes we feel that it is a small task maybe let, I will do it tomorrow let us just take rest today or maybe uh, I have just completed the big task maybe I should go out for something so the small tasks are always kept pending but you have to understand that these are the tasks if they are in your to-do list so it means that they are important and they should be given as much priority as you are giving to other tasks because ultimately it will help right so finishing them early will take a burden off from your head and also it feels good when you will cut down one or two points from your to-do list because it feels good to see some cuts in your to-do list. Growth hack number three, give priority to the most important tasks. Now by most important tasks, I mean the ones which are the essential ones the backbone of your work. Whenever you are doing the most important tasks of your day, give them your complete attention. I figured out, figured out that this can be done when you will shut down all your social channels like Facebook, WhatsApp while doing such tasks. No, definitely I am not against Facebook or WhatsApp or any other social channel and me being a Facebook marketer, internet marketer, I cannot be against it at all. But yes, to give priority to some of the tasks I feel that if we cut down ourselves from these social channels for a while it gives us a better focus because see it, it happens if I receive a test, uh, text or if I receive a new notification then it will happen that I will open that thing and it will consume maybe a little bit of my time but my mind will be diverted and Maybe if uh, my task is three hours long and if I am diverted three to four times in between, so I will lose focus. So never lose focus, give priority to those tasks because these are, as I said, the essential things of your business, the backbone of your work. And 
uh, use your social channels when in your uh, free time growth hack number 4 utilize your spare time now you get spare time at least 5 to 10 times in a day this spare time is the time when you have got absolutely nothing to do it can range from a minimum of 5 minutes to around 30 minutes at a time now utilize this time to do something productive you can put out some content in the form of blog post or article in an open website like medium or maybe a podcast or a video or any form of content or maybe you can simply read a book what i prefer i prefer listening the book and i use audible for that it is an app by amazon so and currently i am in mode of listening ask yari v so you can listen that book uh, it is a good book and you can listen any book of your choice but you can utilize your spare time you can do anything productive uh my examples will always evolve about uh, around internet things like putting out content in the form of blog post or article but whatever you do you can do something productive in that regard for example you are a fashion designer so you can think of a new design and start sketching it on your paper or maybe uh, you do anything so you can use that spare time because these 5 minutes 10 minute jabs which you will put every day it will count it will count in your profession and it will count in your practice it will count in your life because ultimately it will gather and uh, maybe let's say if you uh, wrote a good piece of content on that day or maybe if you made a good piece of design on that day and that design uh, goes on to become the best design of the best selling design of the market in that year or maybe that piece of content got uh maybe let's let's uh, not just aim for the biggest thing let's uh, hope that that uh, content which you put out got 10 shares but out of those 10 shares it got to a person who can give you money who can give you business so that piece of writing is something very much essential for you so try to utilize your spare time growth hack number 5 income producing activities make it a point that you will do an income producing activity every day there are many tasks that are done to build long term reputation but cash is the oxygen of your business do tasks that directly leads to produce income in the present remember the rule cash is the oxygen of your business if you run out of oxygen you will lose this team so never run out of oxygen if you will put 365 jabs in one year if you will do one income producing activity every day so it means that in 365 days you are doing 365 income producing activities out of them let's say 50% of them they fail completely but the rest 50 of percent of them will produce some income and that is something which is very very essential for your business and let's say just 10% of the tasks produce a good amount of income so that good amount of income will come only when you out of that the remaining 50% which will produce some income and out of those some income activities you will produce some good in- income activities and then when you have figured out what are your good income activities then you will start concentrating on your small income activities this is how you grow growth hack number 6 speak to the mirror having good communication skills will definitely improve your business whether directly or indirectly go in front of mirror and practice your communication in your business language maybe for just 5 minutes in a day but do it daily you will see massive improvement ps i am an active toastmaster and that really helps remember the rule you need to speak well to effectively sell yourself so first of all if you want to join toastmaster if you are thinking about it then you can join you should join because i have seen improvement after joining toastmaster if you don't know what is toastmaster then you can search for it but if you cannot do anything like that then just go in front of the mirror and try practicing your communication in your business language daily whether 5 minutes or more but do it daily because you may not know that any day you uh, might be given an opportunity to sell yourself so 
do it in the best possible manner maybe the ceo of your company ask you something that what is your opinion mr whatever your name is or maybe uh, you go to pitch uh, your idea in front of a vc or maybe you are just describing your idea in in a business meeting and uh, something clicks from there it, the clicking thing can happen anywhere so you have to be pre prepared for every situation and having good communication skills being better able to sell yourself is always the best method to be pre prepared for selling yourself growth hack number 7 dark horses of your business i searched all the income streams of my overall revenue and in my search i looked for those income streams of mine in which i was not able to put enough attention but they were giving me consistent returns now these are the income streams you really need to work upon these are your dark horses make some little tweaks in them and put little bit more one time effort and watch them grow Yes, I saw one fifty percent growth in my overall revenue when I did this. Try it. So, as I discussed earlier, out of those fifty percent things which will produce you some income, there would be ten percent things which would be producing you good consistent income. But since you are not able to put enough attention to them, so you are quite overlooking them. But you know that this is putting giving me. a consistent returns so now it is the time to put some more attention into it and grab the maximum amount which you can grab from it because these are the dark horses of your business so start focusing on them give them your enough attention maybe it's for a day or maybe it's for a week and make them the, your good source of income rather than the consistent small source of income make them your good source of income this will help this will increase your overall revenue Growth hack number eight and my favorite, the three to one rule. I learned this rule from a leadership course I attended in Singapore last month. The rule states to write down three, two, and one thing daily from your experiences of that particular day. Daily. So, what are the three things which you have to write down daily? First, what are the three learnings, oblique life lessons you learned today? second thing which you have to write down is two things that you will start doing differently from the life learnings of today and the third is what is the one thing that you will implement in your life right away again from the life learnings of that day by doing this you will improve every single day after some time you will be able to kill some major negatives from your life these three rules are really deep if you follow them religiously so start making a list of all these things on a everyday basis on a daily basis and you will see some good improvements in your life yes it happens to me that sometimes i miss some of these things sometimes what happens that i write just uh, one thing in the first category or maybe just two things in the first category or maybe just one thing in the second category but it doesn't matter the point is to write down the genuine ones not just write for the sake of it but write down the genuine ones because writing down the genuine ones i will be able to improve or eradicate whatever the thing is but i will be able to improve every day so uh my uh, the time when i do it i generally do this when i am going to sleep and i write it in the notes of my phone and sometimes i miss doing this but yes i do it uh, quite often as i can growth hack number 9 personal health growth find time to work out on your personal health good health means that you are better able better able to enjoy your work and your life meditation is also an option to start applied <laughs> remember the rule a sound mind stays inside a healthy body ps this is one thing which i am very regular at yes i admit that though whenever i find opportunity to play cricket or football i never miss it i play football on every weekend so why did i say uh, to start on it for the meditation i have no doubt in my mind that meditation 
has improved so many people and it will improve so many people in life but but why did i say two stars on it because i don't do it i if, in fact i started it quite some back but i am not a regular at it and so that is why i said two stars but yes for whatever little time i did i found some good improvements in me but the point here is personal health growth so i spend time playing football or cricket sometimes football majorly because uh, most of the people living nearby me play football so that is something which you can do you can find any time to do any physical activity maybe badminton maybe walking maybe cycling whatever you like but spend time on your personal health the rule is a sound mind stays inside a healthy body growth hack number 10 use your subconscious mind now you might find this one strange but i have found the solutions to some of my most difficult problems when i slept thinking about them by morning i knew exactly what i have to do to solve the particular problem this does not work every time but trust me it has helped me in solving some real critical problems so this is from my own personal experience you can try this some of the most complex situations some of the most difficult problems which i have faced so which i am not able to figure out the solution to the problem right now or in that particular time i just sleep thinking about it and by morning i get a perfect solution for that situation it happens i don't know why but yes our subconscious mind is something very powerful and it helps every time growth hack number 11 patience take your time in responding to queries which you find are not easy to respond at the moment you may take a wrong decision make a wrong statement when you are in hurry take your time and respond well so uh, this is something which even i am learning yes uh, i am quite good in this quite good not very good but i am trying to improve and it is something which is uh, right above in my to do list in the 3 to 1 rule which i write so i write this quite frequently which i want to improve on it very badly and uh, but yes i am improving because having patience in your life having patience in whatever you do is something very important and making a good decision late is much 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 better than making a bad decision at this particular moment so buy time buy your time respond well final words from me i know after implementing all or maybe some of them in your life you will definitely multiply your productivity and health you will reach your life goals faster remember the rule the key lies in execution not just theory so pick out your favorite growth hacks from above and start implementing them so again the rule is the key lies in execution by reading all of them by listening all of them or maybe just knowing all of them will not help you should implement these start implementing just one growth hack in your life after 10 days start implementing second after 5 days start implementing third and then go on practicing different growth hacks or maybe there are some more growth hacks which you are using in your life so continue using them and i would be glad if you can write those growth hacks to me maybe even uh, those growth hacks can help me in my uh, in my life so again the key is in execution so do execute so if you like the article then please share it with your friends too it keeps up my motivation uh, not the article in this format it is the video it is the audio so whatever if you like then please do share it please do uh share it with your friends with your family maybe in your facebook timelines or wherever you can and uh, uh, maybe it can be helpful for uh, some more people so uh, a little introduction my name is sora bhatnagar and i am the only facebook marketer in india who was selected to teach in a facebook advertising course in usa it was an e course 
so i'm still yet to go to usa but yes my uh, video went to usa and it did pretty good i am the single digital digital marketing consultant to tsx.in which is a fashion ecom brand with net worth more, more than 100 crores and we are targeting 500 crores net worth by the year 2020 i designed the launch plan of one of the franchises of ms dhoni's gym chain sports fit and i will soon feature in cnbc young turks entrepreneurship show for my digital marketing skills and i have worked with 20 plus clients to help them achieve their digital promotion objectives so you can check other videos from my youtube channel so most of them are centered to internet marketing and you can go to my blog which is www.sawdebhatnagar.com again it the whole blog revolves around internet marketing but i have some good other hacks which can be helpful for you so thank you for watching the video thank you for listening the audio and uh, stay connected maybe on facebook on youtube or wherever you can thank you